what i would like to say is as follows <clears throat> there is a like two levels of homeopathic analysis or case taking or understanding the first level is what we are used to doing you know telling a person what is your nature you get angry you are sleeping you are weeping you are afraid of what oh what dreams you get etc etc means questions about the individual what do you feel what are your emotions what is your uh, you know memory and so forth what happened in your childhood what what's happening in your relationship what is happening in your crisis moment what's happening in your job and uh, from all this information we try to guess what remedy or what kingdom or what subclass even the person can belong and we make certain mathematical you see calculations because of this and this and this he must be like this or this he must belong to this remedy or this group or this subclass or whatever it may and then we add together some physical symptom some general symptom some craving some aversions like that we try to create a remedy totality and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and uh, when it doesn't then it opens us to the possibility that there is something we are not knowing or not understanding about this person that we have not gone deep enough and uh, then our case taking takes another level it goes much deeper and it would be good to do that right at the beginning also and this deeper level of case taking somehow bypasses the person's story situation feelings memories and goes directly to the level of his experience which is a sensation or an energy pattern and uh, what comes up is very very unpredictable surprising you can say shocking even you never anticipated that it will be like this but yet this completely illogical unreasonable experience that came out by some you know strange way also that holds the key to the case and we are able to solve many many so far difficult cases through that level of analysis and uh, that's what i would kind of recommend doing and how to do that how to bypass the patient's story and situation because patient like to talk about it and it's all mixed up the story and the sensation and the 
pattern, everything is mixed up. You don't know what is what. How to bypass? For this, there are many techniques. If you like, where I've written this is in two books, Sensation in Homeopathy and Sensation Refined. There are two books, which shows you many techniques of bypassing and, uh, you know, I will give you a very, very simple, almost an example that just comes to my mind. And uh, for example, one patient came to me, you see, and she said, I have, you know, some problems with my father. I don't remember exactly, but something like that. And I said, what happens? Oh, he is very, very dominating me and I get very irritated with him. But what do you feel in this situation? I asked her. And he said, she said, this is the problem, you know. Even your assistant kept asking me again and again, what do I feel? What do I feel? What do I feel? And I am just blocked. I cannot go ahead. I'm just blocked. I cannot go ahead. The same thing happened with her. The same thing happening with you. I feel I cannot go ahead. I feel blocked. I said, now can you forget everything else that you said so far? Forget your father. Forget your anger. Forget your whatever, whatever. Just speak about the word blocked. That's it. That's all that I want you to do. And she said, blocked is like, you can't get out, you know, there's no way out. So what do you mean by no way out? What is, it's, you are just confined. You're just like this, you are, you are in this space. You cannot get out of the space, you know? What do you feel like this? She said, well, you know, in a way it's good because this space is, is secure, it's comfortable. But there's no adventure in life, you're just stuck. I said, describe this feeling stuck and no way out and confined and comfortable. She said, it's like, it's like a trap, isn't it? What do you mean by this? It's like a trap. Can you describe a trap? This is trap is where, you know, you, you go, you didn't know that you would get into it. And when you get into it, you can't get out of it. Describe this process. You would get into it, you cannot get out of it. <clears throat> so, I mean, I'm not going to go ahead with this case, but what I'm trying to tell you is that by this time her father and her situation and her life, everything was forgotten. And we were just focusing on this energy that was coming. And then you could understand that this, you know, what's coming here and where to put it, where to classify it, which subclass, which superclass, which kingdom, which kind of family, etc. So this is what I'm trying to indicate, this is one of the ways in which you can kind of penetrate into the deeper experience and not stay with the father and the mother and the childhood and the dream and all these stories. Another way in which you can do it is through the dream. You can use the dream, especially a dream that is very, very unrelated to the person's situation. Suppose, you know, person is anxious about something and he dreams about that, you can forget it. But something individual that might have occurred in the dream, you know. Uh, I'm going in a, in a dark place and then there is some, somebody who came and pounced upon me and then I was shrieking. Okay, what to do with this dream? This is very important. The important thing is not to interpret it, not to analyze it, 
or not even to look for it in the repertory. No dream of dark pounced upon. There's no, no, no. Stay with it. So the first thing with the dream is describe it more and more and more. Tell more and more. Describe it more and more vividly. Every quality of that dream. You know, I remember in a, one amazing, amazing case you might have seen or not, but it's a mind-blowing case. That fellow said, I have a, he's a case of hypertension. And he said, I have a dream that a, jaw, a dog is jumping at me. And I deflect it. And uh, because it could, you know, it could do something to me. So I just deflect the dog. And its jaw falls out. And the dog is happy, it's going in his way. But the jaw, jaw has fallen out. What? I mean, what is this? So, normally what we do is, when we don't understand anything, we avoid it. Because we don't want to use our, you know, what to do. Okay, okay, tell me another dream. I don't understand this one. You see, we <laughs> push it. But there lies the, you know, the case. So, how to do? Simple. So, I asked him, tell me about this whole story again. The dog is coming, then what happened? Then it comes up and I hit its face like this and its jaw just comes out. I said, tell me more about this. We will more. He so the jaw that comes out is in four pieces. Upper jaw, lower jaw, right side, left side. Four pieces. He said, tell me about the four pieces. He says, two of the pieces, they match each other exactly. They are like the mirror image of each other. They are just like this. And the other two pieces also like this. So two and two. I said, tell me about this mirror image. Tell me about this. He said, this is like a ball, isn't it? It's like a ball and there's exactly, you know, they match where... There is a groove, there is a projection. It's like, you know, like this exactly matches. And uh, I said, tell me more about this. He said, well, this is the main thing, isn't it? And then he described, you know, further and further. Ultimately, we gave him the clam as a medicine, you know, Venus Mercenaria. And it was perfect. So his whole life was explained by that. You know, many, many instances of his life could you, you could understand through just that one dream. So what I mean to say is that another way is through the dream. But I don't know if I've introduced you, but the most recent way that I found to be the most wonderful and useful is called the WISE processes. W-I-S-E. Why is this witnessing inner song experience? And these processes which I discovered about three years ago or four years ago, they have been of tremendous, tremendous value in my practice and the practice of many, many colleagues. Very, very simple things. Like, for example, if you just hold a posture like this, you know, just like this. And, you know, just like this. And then you, you can try right now, actually, you can do, you can all do. You can just close your eyes, right hand in front, left hand behind. Head little bowed forward, eyes closed. And then you start to imagine anybody in any situation, in any time, space, context, maybe 10,000 years before or later, anybody, any creature even, who is in this posture, and just imagine what is happening around this person. What is the scenario? What is the movie? You see? And you will find that if you let your imagination go wild, some movie will come. 
some situation will come and if you put yourself into that situation then you will start experiencing your pattern your sensations because each one's pattern will be completely different you see and uh, it's quite amazing what ha happens there and what this does this wise process <laughs> is that it gives a neutral safe space in which a person can experience his imagination his sensation his energy pattern because there is no situation outside it is created by him and also this wise process it acts as a therapeutic tool because just the person becoming aware that it is his own pattern and not anything from the outside and this pattern is something he has seen in his life in all situa situations so he realizes that it is not the situations that have caused the pattern because here there is no situation but it is his internal pattern this realization this awareness itself has tremendous healing qualities and if he notes the exact experience it's much easier to go to the homeopathic group or remedy that he needs the kingdom the super class sub class become far more clearer you see and uh, and therefore i'll give you a one example so what <laughs> what i started in germany about 3 weeks ago is a wise webinar in this webinar we had about 750 people 500 people they come online and they we make them do this process and then we pair them up we instruct them we pair them up and each of them will ask the question to the other one so what did you imagine so what did you experience so what was your inner experience very non leading questions this whole process one webinar take 3 hours we are doing eight such webinars in a series so every webinar will be a different wise process and there's no homeopathy medicine here it just awareness each one becomes aware of his own pattern step by step by step the feedback has been amazing a lot of healing is already happening even without any remedy people becoming more aware of their pattern so i'll give you one simple example so the last webinar we had this posture you know we said take this posture and see what happens imagine so after they did it i invited any two participants to come on stage you know in the public and to speak about their experience so i could ask them some questions i could demonstrate the process of inquiry so one of the men one man he said i felt as if something dark or blackish is all around me and that gets inside of me and it charges me up like a battery this is what he said now what is important here is that we should not analyze or interpret we shouldn't start thinking what is black what charges up could it be coal could it be this could it be what you know no 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 not a good idea we should stop to think so i asked him tell me about it just like this tell me something is black it comes into you charges you up describe this little bit more just go with it see what happens. you see i don't know him he is one of the 700 participants 
I have no idea who he is. I don't know what is his story. I know nothing. And he has just done this process for few minutes. You see? So I said, tell me about this. And he says, you know, this black substance, this, it just comes into me and it is like it possesses me. Okay, very good. Describe this. It possesses you. It possesses me meaning it just makes me stuck. I cannot move. The moment it comes into me, I am stuck. I cannot move. I am stiff. I am like a statue. And I cannot move. This is a story. And I said, tell a little bit more. And he says, I am not in control anymore. That is in control of me and I am stuck and I whatever effort I make I cannot move I try my beyond my capacity but I cannot move this is what he said it took less than three minutes I know his remedy is anacardium already without asking any questions because his main sensation is stick, uh, stuck stiff, cannot move. This is already in the fifth subclass which we are talking about. And what is the miasm here? Miasm is whatever I do, I cannot change it. I cannot control it. This is cancer miasm. So this is the fifth subclass. This is anacardiaceae and it is cancer miasm. So this remedy has to be anacardium. You see, we can come like that so easily, so nicely. I don't know anything about him, but I'm fairly confident that his remedy is anacardia. It cannot be anything else. So, somebody asked a question to me, what is the difference between a sensation and a miasm? I got one from you only. Am I right? Yes. I just got it on my email. Out of some questions you have asked, one no. question is, what is the difference between an experience and a miasm? No, but very according to according to the, the fifth subclass, because the tubercular miasm is a very uh, uh, it's there, or we always think it is there because of uh, I need to move. And I added to this question the a remedy from the first uh, subclass, uh, like Simisifuga, that also wants to go out. And so what is the difference there between the miasm and the sensation? Yes. Yes, that's what I'm saying. So that the difference between the sensation and miasm is as follows. The sensation is what you actually experience. So what did this man experience? Stuck stiff, tight, cannot move. This is what he experienced, right? This is the sensation. This is what puts him into any superclass or subclass. The sensation is the experience, what he experiences. What is the miasm? The degree and the desperation to which he experiences this sensation. So this stuck feeling, to what degree does he experience? that it is out of his control, that he can try and try and try, his capacity is exceeded, but he cannot change the situation. That is what you call as out of control. That is cancer miasma. So the experience is the sensation, the degree, the desperation to which you experience, the acuteness or the chronicity of a condition, this is the miasma. Right? For example, if you take the first subclass, what is the sensation? Extreme sensitivity. What is the, it's not stuck stiff tight. No, no, no. It's extreme sensitivity, like you don't have a skin. Anything little <gasps> touches you, you know? It's too touchy mentally and physically. Very, very touchy. This is the sensation. So if anybody is like this, he requires a remedy from the first subclass. For example, the remedy is is also from here. <laughs> 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 
from the renan kyolales renan kyolesi family steph segre very very touchy what the experience of steph segre very very touchy but what is the desperation of it i must be in total control even though i feel insulted offended touched i cannot react i should not i should keep it in control all my anger like this this is cancer maya to keep something in control or out of control is cancer maya so what is the main symptom of stephysegria ailments from controlled or suppressed anger anger touchiness extreme sensitivity even the slightest word will offend him and insult him easily you just have to look like this at stephis agra he is so touchy suppose he comes into your you know wedding or some function and you didn't say hello my god it's too much for him but he has to control it what does pulsatilla have to do she has to avoid it avoid confrontation avoid insult how does she do that by becoming mild and yielding disposition so that nobody will confront or insult her so what is the miasm of pulsatilla it's psychotic miasm avoidance but avoiding what sensitivity that is the experience first sub plus so whatever you experience is your sensation what you do with it how much you have to control it or avoid it or run away from it this is the miasm you follow so in that so what i'm trying to say is that so easily by this wise process it's a very very powerful tool for cutting through the story and the situation of the patient straight into his inner pattern and that process itself has a medicinal or therapeutic quality and therefore i would like to recommend to you sincerely that you study this wise process i have written a book recently kyle may want to share a screen and just show it what it is it is called from shadow to light the wise processes in homeopathic case taking and this describes what are the processes how to use it what are the problems what are the ways to solve it etc and the other thing i might want to recommend to you is that like anything the wise process also needs training and before the training you need also to do it on yourself you know you cannot do it to your patient unless you have been through it yourself so one possibility also is we could do some wise webinars with you if you would like and we can you will find it therapeutic for your own self and that also if you talk to kyle we could do some organization so these are certain hints that i am giving you that there are two levels of homeopathic case taking one is more mental intellectual mathematical oh he has this plus this therefore it must be this and the other way is experiential that you actually uncover discover not uh, calculate it not calculative homeopathy it is experiential homeopathy and at that level you come across <clears throat> the innermost pattern which is really illogical and nonsensical and many cases that you will struggle with for years can get solved i just did a follow up of one patient lot of anxiety and hypochondriacal heart ischemic heart disease problems 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 every follow up he would talk to me for one hour and he was always you know in a very anxious and desperate state and i gave him you know what not arsenicum and what anxiety remedies and this and that nothing happened and then finally we did a wise process on him and uh, he, and i said what in your you know 
when you look at this, we, we showed him a picture of a, of a woman who is just standing like this. And what's happening here? Just imagine. And he said, well, and something, something. And ultimately, his remedy was Drosera. I could never imagine before. And after Drosera, his follow-ups from one hour have reduced to five to seven minutes, which is a big achievement. <laughs> saves a lot of my time. So he is much better. So I couldn't imagine. So many times the inner story is not logical or reasonable or something expected. It's something that needs to be uncovered. And at that level, if homeopathy is practiced, the success is much better. Of course, it has to be practiced along with knowledge of repertory, materia medica, you know, modalities, keynotes, pathology, everything, everything, everything. But they all come together at that point. Many things come together when you go deep. So this is what I wanted to share with you. Some of us start to walk with the, with the wise. Okay. We, we met it in, two years ago in Mumbai when we were okay, in okay. Norway. Yeah. And we want to, to learn more, the, more about it and to practice with it. Yes, the book is a good starting point. And if yes. you want, we can do some webinars together. But start yes. with the book because it is really, I took two years to write it and it's come out well. The Corona help, I understand, to write it. Yes. No. Maybe, I'm not sure. But Corona changed a lot of things, you know, in the way we see patients, communicate, the way we are able to reach out across, the way the international community comes together wow. in a very amazing way also. So when I do the webinar in Germany, there are people from 22 countries in that webinar of 750 people, you see. Amazing. And what a mass healing. I, I, I couldn't imagine that we can heal in a mass. And I thought, how can I facilitate each one's process? It is not possible. So I said, let's pair them up. So we gave them three webinars just as an instruction and, you know, a kind of, uh, you know, guidance. And then after that, we paired them up. And it's really, it's possible. So I think there is a lot of potential to the wise process, even without homeopathy as a necessity component. Dr. Shankran, uh, can I ask you a question, please? Because sure. when you are talking about the wise method, <clears throat> you are not using the word projection, like projecting your emotions on the picture, for example, or do you have, do you have any things to say about it. I don't see that you use this word, uh, like a projective process. Well, if you like, I will use the word. I don't mind. It's not a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that I use to <laughs> Yes, yes. But you know, the, the only reason I don't do it is because I don't know what is projection, you know. I have not studied uh, psychotherapy and psychology and various, you know, methodologies, yes, Jungian and Freudian and Adler and all. I, I just heard the names. But I would like to say something that, you know, the projection is a psychotherapeutic term, basically. It's not, and it has to be used in the way that it is meant, which I don't know. So why would I use something that I don't know? You see, number one. And number two is... I believe that the homeopathy and our approach, especially with the sensation method, goes far deeper than psychotherapy. Because psychotherapy limits itself to the level of the mind. It is possible that even when we talk about projection, we are talking more of a mind attitude, you know, my, you project, your, you know, your emotions or your whatever it may be. But here we are going far deeper than that. What we are doing is making the person 
get into it's not a question of tell me what you think that she is thinking no no we say you imagine that situation put yourself in the shoes of that person and then start to experience whatever sensations that come up within you as if you are right there what you experience at a deeper sensational level not mind not even mind you see so at that point you are able to connect what the person says to animals minerals and plants and even deeper than that so i believe that so i'm not sure if the use of the word projection is justified or appropriate to what we are doing therefore i didn't use it and uh, the other thing i want to share with you is something that i'm really interested in nowadays you know and that is that has to do with <clears throat> energy now when we say we are finding the match at a level of mind at a level of sensation can we find a match at the level of energy pattern itself even beyond sensation even beyond kingdoms and remedies and mayasms and all of that can we touch directly the energy pattern of the individual which manifests as the sensation which manifests as the imagination which manifests as the emotion can we go to the deepest possible level this is what i wanted to work with and what i understood was that one of the forms of energy that we have energy pattern is music you see mm-hmm. of course color is energy movement is energy rhythm is energy all but the one we are most familiar with is melody and in india we have these raga system which is the each raga is a melody made of a pattern of notes every raga is defined as a pattern of notes so if we have for example sa re ga ma pa da ni sa ni da pa ma ga re sa this is one pattern another pattern will be sa re ga pa da sa da pa ga re sa another pattern sa re ma ma re sa re ma pa ma pa da da ba ga ma ga ga re sa so each one is an harmonic pattern and i thought this must have to do with the energy pattern within us because i don't think these ragas were invented or created by man they exist in the ether as patterns we only discovered them this is what i believe and therefore because in indian music we don't have compositions we just have ragas we don't have mozart and beethoven and all all of this we don't have it's just ragas melodies and each one can improvise from that basic harmonic pattern this is the idea so we started doing provings of ragas in you know and to to check what energy pattern does each raga bring forth in a listener by proving like hanemann's method of proving and i must tell you honestly that there are i don't want to name them because i don't know if they want to be named but there are three provers from israel who proved to be the best provers of us in in fact if you can export them to india we'll be very happy they are the best and we always depend on their proving they may be here also i don't know if they are here. and we had 23 provers and we did 25 ragas now i want to tell you something absolutely shocking that i discovered in the last two weeks so i did five ragas and this time what i did i asked them to describe these ragas during the webinar itself i would sing to them and then at the end of it 
I would tell them, please now describe your experience. All the people who were there, there were this time 19 people. And many of them, and it was so uh, fascinating that almost everyone had a different image, but the same basic experience. The delusion level, imagination was different, you see. One person would have an imagination, I'm lost in the desert, I cannot come back, I have no food, I have no drink. Another one has an imagination, I have a mother who is giving me a lot of food and drink. So there was many polarities of this. And I tell you, one raga that I proved, it was recently, there was the exact picture of black mamba. Because I have done a proving of black mamba, the snake. It was word for word. I could not believe it. Wow. It's not, not common knowledge. It's not like snake and all that. Of course, they had images of a black snake jumping from a tree and all but that. But exact symptoms of the provers were there in this. For example, one man said, I saw a woman without any legs. And in the proving is exactly given. Dream of a person without legs. And woman, that also. I was shocked. And then we did the next raga and it was the exact proving of eagle. Haliatus leucocapitus. So somewhere these melodies seem to have energy patterns that resemble our remedies almost exactly. So we st I created an app called the Raga Therapy app. And you are free to download. It is free. It is available. So, Kyle, you can put this link on our chat box. It's www.sampurnamhealing.com. Go to Raga Therapy. And there you'll see the whole note on Raga Therapy. And then you have a link to your Google Play Store or App Store in the iPhone. You can download it. You will be taken through a series of questions. I feel like this, like this, like this, like this. Options you have to click. At the end of it, your raga will come out for you. This is your raga. Then I will sing that raga for you 20 minutes. And then you can rate how you felt with it. So we have done this for 25 ragas. So can I'm developing this app more and more. And it's turning out to be very, very fascinating. So maybe the next webinar you do with me, I'll just be singing and not speaking anything. <laughs> <laughs> can we can we please hear the raga uh, of the black mamba? Well, now that you know it, it's not a good idea. No, I know, but but it's very very interesting to. to I know, I know, but it's not a good idea no, after you know it. it then, you know, your mind is already prejudiced. Yeah, yeah, I know. But Thank if you. you like, I can sing you one raga I have not spoken about and you will see the similarity of effect coming out in the chat box. You want to hear? Yeah, please. So you listen, you how to listen to the raga also. You have to listen to it with not with your mind, not with intellect, not with reasoning not with uh, analysis, interpretation, but close your eyes and allow the raga to occupy you completely. Take over you. Fill you up. And when you do that, start to look at what e emotions come up, what imagination comes up, what sensation comes up, what energy patterns come up. Start to become aware. That's all. And uh, things will happen. I am 100% sure. And you will see how many people will have similar effect to this raga. And I can tell you from my proving what it was. Sa ne 
रे ग मगा मगनी पद मे ग सखियरी पिया बीन सखियरी पिया बीन सखियरी पिया बीन सखी कलन परत मोहे घड़ी पल चीन दिन एरी आली पिया बीन सखी निरेग निरेग मारे गिरे गम बम बरे पाम रे ग निरे गम बागनी नी दादा पद मा रे गिरे गे निरे सखियरी आली पिया सखी जब से पिया परुदेश गवन किनो आ जब से पिया परुदेश गवन की नोरतिया कटत मोहित रे गिन गिन एरी आली पिया बीन सखी एरी आली पिया बीन एरियाली पिया बीन पिया बीन पिया बीन पिया रे पिया एरी आली पिया बीन सखी एरियाली पिया भी न पिया भी न पिया भी न पिया भी न पिया भी पिया भी न ये दी आली पी निरे गे निरे गे निरे गे निरे सरे गम बम बरे पाम रे गिरे धरे गे सरे गम बागनी मारे गिरे गिरे गे निरे सी री आली पी एरी आली पी पिया पिया
<clears throat> well, I invite you to write if possible in English in the chat box. What was your main imagination, experience, sensation? Just in a few words, three, four, five words. And then you can see what happens, right? Independently, don't look at what others have written. Please do write, even if you, if you had no experience, say I had no experience, even that is acceptable. But whatever it was, suppose you say sorrow, grief, it is like what? What kind of situation in such, where such a sorrow or sadness can be felt? Sorrow like what? Sadness like what? What is the experience? What is the imagination? Well, I'll tell you what this melody in other provers, what it brought about. And maybe you can connect to it or not. The main feeling that came was of separation. It was a feeling of loss. It was a feeling of emptiness. It was a feeling of something going away from you. Something dear, beloved, something that was... 
a very integral part of you. It's not there anymore. It has gone away from you. And what you experience is a sense of being alone or isolated or empty. And uh, this kind of experiences, yes, longing, yes, longing very much. Longing is a part of it. Longing, alone, sadness, grief, separation. These are the main words. You can see in the chat box, many of you experience like that. The remedy for this raga is natrum carbonicum. It is the raga is called Yaman. You can name Yaman. It consists of all the major notes, you know, major scale. Mm. All major scale. All the seven notes in major scale. Hmm. So if you go to that Raga therapy app, it will tell you what is my emotion, what is my sensation, what is, and give you option. You click, 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 click. And finally it will say your Raga is this. And you play and see what effect it has on you. You write to me. I'll be very happy to hear your feedback. Kyle, can you give them the my email ID info at sankaransclinic.com? You are very, please do uh, send me your um, response to that. What raga it chose for you? Did it help you? Did it make a difference? <laughs> 